Hello everyone, uh, welcome back. So in this video, we'll be talking about VPC peering. So basically in this video, we'll be creating uh, two different VPCs. So once we create these VPCs, we'll be uh, creating a peering connection. So once this connection is done, we'll be adding a routing to it. So we'll be seeing all this process uh, just in a few minutes. So coming to the definition of uh, VPC peering, it's like connecting two different uh, private networks in the cloud so that they can communicate with each other as if they are uh, part of the same network. So it allows data to flow securely between these isolated uh, virtual networks, making it easier for the different parts of your uh, cloud infrastructure to work together. So think of it as like a virtual bridge between two separate areas of your cloud environment, allowing them to share resources and information while uh, keeping them in separate and secure. So saying that, let's go ahead and uh, create one VPC. So click create. And uh, initially, I'll just uh, let's say sample VPC one and let's add our uh, CIDR. So done. So we have discussed about all these options uh, in previous videos. Let me create this. And once it is done, let's add a subnet to it. Let me select my VPC. So it's sample VPC one. If you go to the subnets, let's create a subnet and uh, select our VPC. So in this case, I'll just start it as uh, my subnet one and coming to availability zone. Let me add it as uh, one A. So if you don't have any preference, by default, it will be taking uh, the random one. So in this case, I'm just selecting one A and uh, come to the notation. Let me add uh, this and I think everything is fine as of now. So let's go ahead and create. So the submit has been created and the VPC has been created. So we have created two different VPC. Let's refresh. There you go. So we have created two different VPCs. So the next uh, task is creating the peering connection. So if you click here, peering connections, right now we don't have any peering connections. So let's go ahead and uh, click uh, create peering connection and my peering connection and select the VPC. So basically this is the requester. So let's add it as a sample VPC. And you can also select, uh, for example, if you have other account, you can add the other account and uh, select the region and the VPC ID. So since uh, we are in the same region and same account, so we can just uh, use this one and select the other one. So it's a default VPC and uh, this is the sample VPC. So is done and create peering connection. So that's it. So if I go back here, let's refresh this. So you see it's still pending. So basically we have to accept this in order to establish this connection. So for that, you click actions and here you see accept uh, request and reject request. So you can reject it. Uh, for example, let's say there is a person who has requested uh, your peering connection and if you don't think uh, you can reject it. And uh, in this case, since we are working on this, uh, let me accept this one, accept and uh, click accept request. So that's done. And uh, the next is we have to create the routing tables, right? So the next one is uh, if you go to the routing tables, So let's refresh this. So we have, uh, let's check the routes. So it's the one and coming to default route. Okay, so this is the one. So we have to add the routing. So let me edit the routes. So add the route. And in this case, we'll be adding uh, the CIDR of the other uh, the other what we say other VPC. So the target will be peering connection. So you click peering connection and add this one. So that's it. And uh, click save changes and go back. So we have completed with one routing table and let's select the second one routes and uh, edit route add route and we have to add the CID annotation of that one. So I don't remember that. So let me open the other one. 
pairing connection and uh, that's it. So right now we have uh, created a pairing connection. Also we have established the stores. So this is how you can uh, use a uh, pairing concept in order to connect two different virtual networks. So for example, let's say you have created some EC2 instance. So let me go here and uh, EC2 instance. So I'll just show you uh, Let's let's add two VPCs, uh, two EC2 instance in two different uh, VPCs. So just EC2. And Windows. So you can select uh, like uh, AMI based on your needs. So I'm just selecting the Windows for now. And you can create a security groups. So edit and uh, I'll just select one A. So select existing groups if you have. So in this case, I have like many, so I'm just uh, selecting one of it. So where uh, we can use RDP. So I'll just show you in a minute. So that's it. And key pair, let's add key1.pem. That's it, launch. So this one we have launching in this uh, default VPC. So it's pending. Let's add the other one. Uh, Windows. And uh, key one dot M. So I did this one and uh, select sample VPC and the submit is at one a area. So sign enable, create, create, create. I think that should be fine. Let's go ahead and launch. So I'm just making sure before uh, yeah, launch. So we have launched two different IC2 instance. So basically uh, they cannot communicate, right? Because uh, they're in two different regions. So using this pairing concept that we have just done, uh, these two uh, can communicate with each other. So you see like these two has different uh, public IP as well as private IP. So if you try to uh, you know contact with this private IP, initially it will be not uh, responding, but uh, since we have connected, uh, you can uh, use this uh, concept to connect to these private IPs. So basically this is the concept. I just wanted to show you this as uh, this one as well. So if you want to connect it, you can just connect it. And since we have we are using a virtual uh, uh, Windows Windows file, so you can just uh, download the RDP file. So once you download the RDP file, you can see. So you can just click it and uh, connect it. So basically you have to get the password to get that password, you have to add your key one dot pem, right? So you have to get the password. Password is notable, decrypt, just go back. Let me go to the instance. Let me refresh this. And uh, let's try this again. Let's wait for a uh, few seconds. So if I go to actions, sorry, connect RDP. There you go. So right now we can see it. So you have to just uh, upload the file. So let me upload the file. Key1.pem decrypt. So it's done and uh, use this password to log into that uh, easy to instance. So however, I'm going to delete uh, everything. So that should be fine. So let me download that one.
So this is where you have to enter your uh, password. So I can just uh, copy and uh, paste. Okay. You'll be prompted this one, click yes. And it's loading. There you go. Your uh, virtual machine is on. So similarly, since we have created two different uh, VMs, so we, you can communicate uh, these two using this peering connection. So coming to the concept, I hope you guys have understood the concept of today's video. Uh, if you have liked the video, please click the like button below. And if you want to subscribe to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel and uh, please share the video. And before that, uh, I think I also kept uh, in my Instagram channel, I have uh, told about VPC peering. So if you want to know about uh, what is VPC peering and uh, its life cycle, you can just check my Instagram channel. So saying that, uh, thank you everyone.